Hi there. Welcome to Risk Network's Cloudscape. What I want to do real quickly is show you how we've helped customers identify low-hanging fruit in their environment, as well as just zombie devices and ways you can get immediate savings by identifying those workloads which just don't have really any connectivity and or have very low resource utilization. So I want to start out here on our dashboard, in the foundational dashboard, where we've gone and discovered the environment and show you, okay, you have 900 Windows servers, the locations around your environment, as well as creating models of how every application within your environment talks to every other application. And creating models like this can be really interesting to find things like low-hanging fruit. So I can come in here and say, hey, let's just narrow this down to critical connectivity. And then take this and say, you know, I'd like to get a little bit closer view to my production environment. So let's pull out things like Active Directory, say SolarWinds, or um, Citrix. And so now all of a sudden I've changed my model. And I have a different line of sight into my environment. And I can see that several of my applications have no real dependency on the rest of the environment. So as I'm trying to figure out where do I start? Where do I begin to make progress and focus my team on cloud? Well, it's going to be this population of applications. And furthermore, I can swap over and say, you know what? Let me look at this from a resource utilization perspective. Let me look at it from a cost perspective. And so we'll also do instance matching to different public clouds. So I can help understand, is, is AWS the best place for me? Or maybe it's Azure or SoftLayer. And so can come in and compare different public clouds based on my resource utilization as well as what I have in my inventory. What have I provisioned so I can get a sense of, well, how am I utilizing my environment? And then furthermore, I'm going to swap this over to usage-based statistics. I'm going to come down here and show you this heat map. And so we'll generate a heat map of the relative cost of applications and resource utilization within your environment. And so as I'm thinking about things like cloud or things like retirement, maybe I'm going to start, instead of these big apps that are really expensive, right, $3,100 a day to run this guy in Amazon, what I might do is focus in this bottom right-hand corner. Here's my accounting records app for $3.70. I can just run that in the cloud. Or I can flip that and say, well, why is that so cheap? Is no one using it? Maybe this is an app I can just get rid of and not even worry about moving it. And then I can flip this around, and so we can look at it by instance matches. And so one of our very large enterprise customers came into this report, and so we create a group of devices we call isolated. And so isolated devices are those that we've seen no meaningful connectivity to during the interval. And they came in here and saw that they had nearly 1,500 devices that match to either a T2 Micro or a T2 Nano which are the two smallest instance types I can buy in the public cloud. And so they looked at that and they said, well, here are devices that are isolated. They're not talking to anybody. They seem to have no resource utilization. Maybe I can get just rid of these. And so for that customer in particular, they took a 15,000 server migration project and fully eliminated 10% from scope by just getting visibility into the data and into their environment. And so these are just a couple ways we can help find low-hanging fruit, find zombie devices. We have many more, and hopefully you can check out some of our other videos to see that. Thanks.